Yeah, what was that Batman dick thing? <laughs> yeah. That was a joke. That's a real thing. There's, they made a uh, new comic book, and Batman's dick is featured. <laughs> <laughs> Woo, that nigga Bruce, though. <laughs> Show it off, Bruce. <laughs> Yo, that nigga Bruce, dick was so big. <laughs> the fuck is going on in society? We we on the poppin'? We're oh we 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 Watermelon vs. Pumpkin. It's a black individual and a opaque. <laughs> no, it's a white individual. <laughs> An eggshell. <laughs> individual. And I hate this black shit, man. I teach my kid to say brown. It was he brown, baby. Mm. Brown. Brown like that. Yo, All the right. future is beige. The future is beige. T-shirt. <laughs> well, welcome to the show, man. I, you know, I'm the nigga that's got the whisk moving around. Why you NG? <laughs> Pastry. You know, I. Trying not to be black right now, you know, but uh, yeah, man. And I believe in the words of uh, most definitely, a.k.a. Yasin Bey, he would say, Yassine. stay black, 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 stay black and die, which was the weirdest <laughs> ending to it because I was like, hmm? But regardless, welcome to episode 39. Mm. Y'all put the three nine on them and three then put nine. three nines on them. Mm. With the, mm. the and I am his, not yeah. your. Co-host Lil Mattress and Lil Mattress is on everything. L I L M A T T R E S S on the Instagram, on that everything else, whatever. I don't even need to name them off anymore. But uh, watermelon versus pumpkin. That's watermelon vs pumpkin dot com. Catch us on all the social platforms that you deem necessary. Mm -hmm. We got. Um, we on YouTube if you want to see the faces, if you want to watch the performance of us sitting here and speaking at you. We're on everywhere that you can get a podcast. That is where we be. I'm talking we about be. iTunes. I'm talking about Stitcher. I'm talking about Spotify. Mm. I'm talking about Apple Podcasts. Wh wherever, man. Wherever and you take that. people out in uh, Japan, if you're still rocking with us, Kanichiwa, we appreciate Kanichiwa. you. Sick. With a G. deep bow on them. With a uh, uh, listen. Proven fact here, my them. Asian folks in the world, proven fact, you want to get the white man, um, excuse me, you want to get America <laughs> to bow down to you, you just bow first, because we automatically do this shit. I have mm -hmm. no idea why. Every time an uh, Asian fellow bows to me, I just, just my head just goes down. That's like, it. Why, just why, why, am I, why am I doing like, this? Thing? I don't normally do this, but I feel as though you compelled me to do this shit in such a way. Well, I am now Asian, I believe. We show that respect. You know what I mean? Respect. And, uh, real quick, man, hit this hotline if you choose to. 203-594-6977. You can call or you can text. Mm -hmm. Let us know if you're feeling it. Let us know if you're hating it. Let us know about your podcast, and we'll give you a shout-out. You know how it works. Also, gbiclothing.com. Get the uh, merchandise for the Watermelon versus Pumpkin podcast, man. We got T-shirts up there. GBI clothing. We got socks up there we got hoodies up there because you know that hoodie weather is hoodie, coming hoodie weather's coming and listen you know what season it is we got the i love pumpkin t-shirt up there we're about to have some more fall theme because you know fall is life fall hashtag is fall is fall life, is life. <laughs> we're about to have um, cider <laughs> yo cider <laughs> we're about to have some more uh fall themed merch up mm. there and uh use code watermelon mm. to get 10 percent off now yeah. uh, i do want to give a quick shout out to the uh listeners watchers whoever's mm. out there man because we are having our most successful month so far we've had the most downloads and the most listens that we've ever had since we started and we started in january uh Thanks. around the new year and um so it's nice to see that it's mm. Going up. You know what I mean? We it's on that die. We on that diagonal. Up. On a Tuesday. Hello. <laughs> Y'all don't even know what day it is. You don't, <laughs> you don't even know the days, mm -hmm. months. Whoever came up with that shit was a genius. I think it was the Mayans. I don't know. Sure, it could have been calendar, calendar, calendar specialist. Calendar specialist, but man. Like I was saying, man, uh, we appreciate everybody that's yes, out there indeed. listening and sharing. And obviously, somebody's telling someone if more people are listening. Just so tell a friend uh, to tell a friend. keep doing it. Keep letting people know you know what it is. Hacks around here because I ain't got it in my bank account for you niggas. Mm. <laughs> we in a building, out the building, around the building. Women, children. Walking through buildings is what I did over the weekend. Uh, 
So this big northeast wave that overtakes uh, uh, the Massachusetts, the mass holes, we're going to call them mass holes. Uh, with respect. With respect. Respect with a K. Um, in the West Springfield area of uh, Mass, kind of up, up the street from Agawam where Six Flags is, we got this big event that happens once a year around now for about seven weeks or so uh, called the Big E. The big and then the letter E. Mm -hmm. And uh, there's a lot to do going on there. There's and it has lot. nothing to do with bad boy. Yes. It has no. nothing to do with the fries that Wendy's used to sell. No biggie fries here. It's, it's just a big fucking place, hence the big name. Uh, and you walk around and you eat like a freaking uh, madman. You stuff your fucking face. Does it stand for anything? It may, maybe it just might be the big event. A big uh, ex uh, exploration. Ex I, th I think so. Exposition. Uh, Exposition. <laughs> yeah, I think it's the expo. 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 I think it's the big expo mm. because they have all kinds of shit there. People are selling. A lot of people are selling uh, stuff. War Wolf Oh, uh, um, hot jacuzzis. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Is, that like a thing? is that is that is that a thing there? Because I haven't been there since I was a kid, man. So I was. Like, I probably went there about five years ago, okay. uh, and um, it was. It was. It was always out there's there. But I mean, I I don't think there's people flocking to them and like, oh my god, they have the best deals on hot tubs. I'm taking one home. But I think it's just right. You know, they got them up there. I do give a hats off to a lot of people that uh are selling and creating their own shit out there. You know what I mean? Like, mm. a lot of people that have this own thing and they, they're putting it all together and, oh, I came up with this product. Yo, mad woven tapestries. You know what I mean? It's like, this is dope, but I don't know if I'm on board $250 dope. You know what I mean? Exactly. <laughs> Some of that shit is like... I'm not sure if I want to buy the prototype. Right. You know? That I kick myself if you blow up. You know what I mean? And I ain't put no stocks in your cump. Yeah, but, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Stocks in your cump. <laughs> Yeah, Holy that, shit. That, that smooth talk. I think all the kids are talking like that, aren't they? <laughs> That's what all the cool kids are saying. <laughs> you guys want stocks in the cup? That's what they do on <laughs> Wall Street when um, they're at the strip club after the fucking working day. They're like, damn, babe, I'm about to put my stocks in your cup. <laughs> He's going to invest in me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm going to invest something you can digest, baby. <laughs> That's a good. That's a good hot line in the bedroom. I have to try that. Would you let me invest my stocks in your company? Exactly. <laughs> Do a little role playing, yo. I'm about to be the, the businessman, Coming baby. With the tie on. <laughs> you, you be the uh, um, uh, the lady that answers the phones, whatever, whatever she's called. Receptionist. Receptionist. <laughs> Damn, baby. I'm about to put these stocks in your comp. <laughs> you want to see my stocks rise? <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, I got some cheesy lines. I feel like I should be writing fucking shit for a. Uh, uh, a cheesy ass porno. For we, can those, we can write those lines. We write man. these scripts. We write these porn scripts. We write these porn scripts. Let me go. Run. Yo, Ron Jeremy, <laughs> if you're listening, nigga, 203 549 nigga, holla at us, nigga. Let us know where to send that email. Let us know where to send that spec script. You know what I mean? We'll let you know, nigga. King Dingaling, nigga, I know what the fuck going on out there. Niggas pay for their shit to get injected. And I don't know, man. I don't know if I could ever mutilate my shit like that, man. What's that? Cutting your dick open and adding shit in there. And no, shoving. I'm all right. I'm all right with what I got. <laughs> Man. Hey, hey, baby, if you want more, I'm sorry for you. That's exactly. This is the nigga I got. <laughs> I'll go buy you a big-ass toy. How that sound? Right. <laughs> but nah, motherfuckers will slice and dice. And then they go down. There's the thing in Brazil I heard motherfuckers do where they put injections. Uh, inside this shit, like big needles. Like how girls do with their lips? Right. They put yeah. like fatty injections and... Fucking dick, come on. <laughs> Look at lumpy like, as shit. Lumpy as shit. Like, literally lumpy as shit. Just big ass, swollen caterpillar. <laughs> Inching away, fucking skin covering over your head like a damn deep hood. What the fuck is going on? <laughs> the there? fuck is going on? <laughs> How the fuck I get here from the Big E? Right? Anyways, <laughs> Listen, big leave e. your dick alone. Yeah. That's what we're saying. Back to the Big E. Back to the Big E, which uh, a nigga had deep fried Kool Aid. I'm going to pause for the crowd. Mm. I'm going to pause for y'all niggas. Like, how does that work? I didn't think it would going to work, but I said, let me try this shit. It was a red Kool-Aid packet. Oh, you know, you got to go red. The classic. Yeah, the classic. You got to go red. You got to go fruit punch. And uh, it was the batter was like red. So I, I guess they did like a, you know, like a fried doughy kind of cakey, more cakey batter. Mm. They put the color in there. Then they put the pre-sweetened uh, Kool-Aid for you to roll around and shit. So now yes. you have like a little sour kind of sweet shit going on on the outside. And it was pretty fucking good, man. If you want to eat fried every fucking thing, yeah. go to the Big E. They fry everything, bro. Right. And I eat a lot of fried shit just for that day, and then I'm, I'm like, 
fucking shit mud anymore. butt the next day, and that's it. <laughs> no, I remember trying like fried Oreos for the first time, and then we yep. had ended up making them on the show. Oh yeah, eventually, oh, yeah. but fried Oreos. Yeah, because I remember being young and like you hear for the first time. Because I believe it all started down south, and then you mm. hear for the first time like fried Snickers, what? Right. And then <laughs> hey, guys, and that was Snickers. That's that's a candy bar. That's what I said. <laughs> Listen, fried <wait>. yeah. Snickers. <laughs> <laughs> And then uh, oh, I always God. remember hearing about, like, they do fried ice cream, and in your head kind of like, huh? How does that work? Right, right. But, um, yeah, they got a lot of... Did they have, like, the butter sculptures up there this year? I did not see butter sculptures, but I did I did uh, remain there with my family for about eight hours uh, and did not see yeah, everything. Yeah, it's a day. It's, it's a day. And, a and day. I didn't even see everything because we were trying to shoot around, and, oh, this one's hungry now. Let's go mm. over here. And it's, it's packed like a motherfucker, though, man. You better yeah. stay close. Um, they got How much a, was it to get in? Oh, uh, ten something like that. Ten for the kids, fifteen for adults. Not bad. So twenty five for me and my daughter, twenty five for her and hers. Yeah, and you like know? you said, it's worth it to go all day. It's not like right. you, you get in there and after two hours you're like, all right, man, we're right. gonna do another lap or what? Yeah, you got to bring a little bit of money. You're gonna be eating, you know. Uh, they got things there, you know. It's like a tent you can walk in. It's like pay a dollar to go see. Uh, the world's largest pig or uh, one of the uh, a large pig and it's like the pig is like eight feet long. Yep. Nigga ran out of singles. So <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was like, I ain't going to them shit, man. You got to take debit? No. Right. All right. <laughs> I ain't fucking with you. They had a horse that was like, you know, when they measure horses, they go by hand, I guess, and uh, like a, a 16 hand or something. They, they basically measure the horse by hand to hand. I don't know mm. whose hand they're using, but uh, that's the that's where you size the horse standard. Is. Yeah, and I guess this was like a thirty hand horse or something ridiculous. You know uh, what they say, six eight in height. That motherfucker needs to be out in the woods galloping, right? <laughs> Not in some <laughs> fucking be. truck being carted. Right. You know, and you know what's crazy when because they had a lot of animals, a lot of petting zoos there, mm. and the, and then the corridors in which they kept these animals were Beautiful really word. shitty. Yeah, you know I mean, they were yeah. really like, oh, you don't think it's keep them here? Cause? Yeah, like the horses can't even turn around. Like, you know what I mean? I don't know yeah, if that's safe that's precautions or... Probably, yeah, so it doesn't boot anyone in the fucking grill, but right. still. Like, you, you'd think you walked around for eight hours, that horse fucking stood there for eight hours. Like, right. these motherfuckers, man. And I, that reminds me, I went to um, one of the last um, last years that they had the Barnum & Bailey Circus, mm. and uh, I went in Bridgeport. You know, tickets were super cheap, yep. but... You know, there's people that are just sitting there watching the show, and then there's people that are perceptive. And I'm not trying to make myself sound smarter than anybody else, but, like, I was watching the Tigers during the whole thing where the dude's snapping the whip yeah. at him and making him do shit. I, yeah, and, like, Spanish dude, right? those Tigers him. were not having it. Right. Like, they didn't do shit that he wanted them to do. <laughs> you could tell, like, it was supposed to last a lot longer. I don't right. mean the entire thing. I mean that segment. Yep. To where, like, it came out, and it was, like, two minutes of him, like, keeping them from killing him. Right. And that was it. Because you could tell you after a while. See what I just did there? <laughs> yeah. After a while, those animals are just like, no, we're not doing this shit anymore. Right. Fuck you. Yeah, it's fucking you know? slavery, man. And it's funny because like in the elephant, I was going to say, tell my daughter, you want to get an elephant ride? She's like, I don't know. And then like, you know, my lady, her her daughter was kind of like, and they all had to fail. I know. It looks, the elephant had the saddest fucking look yeah. on his face. Like, yeah. This motherfucker's giving piggyback rides for hours. Yep. <laughs> you know what I mean? He's walking in a little tight circle. And he picked up a, like a water bucket, and everybody's laughing. Everyone on, I was like, "No, I'm, I'm you know." <laughs> my girl's like, "It's not even fucking funny." Uh, he's thirsty, and I'm, I, yeah. we gotta get out of here. It's pissing me off. I'm like, yeah. yep. <laughs> you know, it's like, oh, look at him, he picked that up. No, no, there's a reason why. The yeah, yeah. He's probably dehydrated as shit out here. Exactly. Big ass elephant, slaving people around on their back. Yeah, it's just one of those things. It's like. Um if they could speak, it'd be so much different. Yeah, we're getting way too deep right now. Yeah, let's get deep. But you know what I mean? Because that elephant would just be like, yo, <laughs> you know what I could do if I wanted to, right? <laughs> like, if you've ever, man, you know, after you watch this video, right. um, click on something else on YouTube and watch, mm. like, Google, like, um, elephants, elephants freaking out. Or right, elephant right. had enough. You know what I yep. mean? They will. Elephant snap. <laughs> Snap. That elephant, if it chose to, could have just ruined the whole day. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know what oh, I mean? Yeah. He would have he plowed that. That biggie would have been for a big elephant. <laughs> that motherfucker <laughs> would have just went for it. We got an elephant problem. Like tranquilizers and fucking helicopters. Yep. He would have had to go down. But that's the thing, too. Then I was thinking, like, put my daughter on. It's like, what if he decides to snap while my daughter's on the shit? Because yeah. I'm going to go on it with her. Come on with me, Dad. I'm mm -hmm. scared. Like, all right, come on, me and you. And then the fucking thing snaps, and here I go. Fucking... Tails of fucking cotton candy flying in the air and screaming, people getting stomped on. 
fucking deep fried Snickers stuck yep. in her hands. You know, it was crazy, man. <laughs> and meanwhile, nobody tries to help. All anyone would do is fucking <laughs> cell phone up. <laughs> cell phone up. <laughs> oh, I'm going to have the best footage. Yep. Look at that little kid about to get hit. I should probably record him instead of helping him. It's <laughs> funny, too, because it would be a kid would get stomped out and someone would run up right to his face with a cell phone. That would be it. Uh, just yeah. fucking. We're gonna get this, footage. this is what happens when you mess with an elephant. I'm just making, I'm trying. And then when they get, a, uh, when people that do that shit get, you know, pointed out for shit like that. It, the, I'm just trying to high, heighten social awareness. <laughs> The fuck out of here. <laughs> right? You're trying to heighten social awareness. You didn't know what the yeah, fuck. Yeah, you're trying to heighten your social awareness and get more followers. Right, right. <laughs> exactly. You sons of bitches. You dirty dogs. <laughs> right? <laughs> Biggie's bringing a lot of hate right now. <laughs> mm -hmm. But uh, it was, uh, so you had the fair. Then they had some concerts that night. Yep. Uh, the, 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 the good old legendary Ice T. Nice. Performed. So we, we had a small window between catching him there or going up and catching... Um, Grandmaster Flash. Mm. So it was like, let's fuck what I see. Let's go gangster. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Piss the kids off. Cups, they said, like, cups, yeah, cups, I think we're sit here and listen to this. Oh, is this over here? No. Damn it. You're going to listen to this shit. And right. I see was funny, though, man. Like when how he was saying on stage, like, if you, you got a problem with me cussing right now, then. You must not know who Ice T is. You better look up who the fuck I am. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> this is what I do. And it's funny because there was a, uh, a lady in the front, you know, with her, her husband and, you know, very suburban looking uh, mm -hmm. Caucasian family there. And, uh, and the kids were sitting there and he's singing the pre music before he came on. And as soon as Ice came out, that motherfucking shit, I laughed. And I looked two seconds later, they was gone. Bing! And it was both about 400 pounds. But yeah, I never yep. motherfucker move so quick. Pew! Wait, where the fuck y'all going? Yeah. Listen, I'm not a small guy, but you will see some people at the Big E to where you're like, I don't know how you live your life. <laughs> I don't know how you get around. Yeah, no, it's, you know it's, I mean? it's, it's serious, No Tupac, man. but I don't know how you get around. But I tell you, they got some serious, tasty shit there. Yeah. It's things I try, I wouldn't have tried before, but like the uh, pulled pork sandwich on an apple fritter donut. Hello. Whoa. Who are those niggas? But uh, it's tasty. Mm. Uh, somebody else I try, because I, I do, I, I try everybody's shit. You know what I mean? So I could taste this here and there throughout the day instead of... Uh, oh, did you get the big turkey leg? I seen it. Everybody had this mm. shit, man. I was like, I was close and I was like, nah, that shit is going to put me... Nobody's going to eat this shit but me. Yeah. <laughs> and I want to try shit. And I know if I ate that turkey leg, I'd have been done for the mm. day. Like, nah, that shit going to sit and fucking roll around in my stomach and say, <laughs> fuck you, nigga. Right. <laughs> Make me tired and shit. What's that? Mm -hmm. What's the name of that shit they got in Turkey? I yeah, well, whatever. Is it the, the shit that puts you to sleep. Yeah, yeah right. Yeah. The itis shit. Yeah, tetis the itis. Nigga. You know, fuck up how, uh, how long did Ice T go for? Shit, Ice? It was almost an hour, I believe. Nice. 45. Yeah, he even did a couple of new songs. He even, he even addressed his... Uh, talk because he was attacked about saying, fuck Soldier Boy, he sucks. You know, some people... You know, he's like, yeah, you know... Did I say it? Yeah, I said the shit. Uh, he said, listen, y'all got to confuse. He's like, I don't have anything against new rap. Mm. I, gotta, I got something against whack-ass rappers. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? He said, he said, because some of them beats be dope as shit. You know what I mean? Yep. He, that he, he dropped on the Schmurder thing and did his own thing to the, uh, the Schmoney thing. Nice. Ah. You know, uh, you know, he's like, I oh, said, if he said, yo, if you just come on, he said, but me, this is a craft that I helped build. And I know, you know, the, the elements of what it was that built this fucking craft. So yeah. to me, it's disrespectful to turn on the fucking radio or, or, or go on online and hear some motherfuckers talking about Gucci gang, Gucci gang. And that's the whole fucking song. Yep. What the fuck is you talking about? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, but, you know, he, he's got a point. You can you can say some dumb shit, but let it be organized. <laughs> mm. Yo, organize that dumb shit. Organize your dumb shit, man. To the point, like it worked for Downs FX, <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah, no, man. Ice T is a is a legend. I definitely like to see him uh, before it's all over. You know, yeah. Who yeah. I was trying to see, but tickets are astronomical. Man, is uh, Janet Jackson playing oh, at the casino? She is. And she um, is that's she not the Wolf Den, right? No, oh, you, said, you definitely said tickets. You definitely said tickets. <laughs> yeah, if Janet was at the Wolf Den, nigga, there'd be a problem. Like, What's going you on? You know what? I wasn't, but fucking LL was at I the Wolf say, Den. Was I was about like, to bring what the said, fuck? LL gave a but preview to somebody. They pay, no, no. They just he they just get paid a certain amount, right. and the uh, casino eats that. You know, right? They're definitely not doing no fucking free shows. At, like, you nah, know, but don't you hang around for a bit, uh, L? Just play a couple of games. <laughs> yeah. But that was even like. Um, Seeing that Janet Jackson was playing mm. at the casino, I was like, I thought, not I thought, because she definitely is, but um, I even thought she would play bigger places. But right. I mean, I know that the 
it's a fucking you know huge place and they probably brought her in for a premium amount of money but yeah, yeah. she's definitely one i'd like to see just because of who she is and i mean right. i enjoy some of her music oh but, yeah um, then you get some of the old 80s janet mm -hmm. she rhythm nation nigga? what exactly with the big buckle hats she made them shits popular when people had them metallic hats mad buckles <laughs> they had the metallic like plated bullshit hats i had one yeah i forgot which one i had but i had a rhythm nation hat nigga. <laughs> now um then did you guys go over and see Grandmaster Flash? Didn't make it. Because mm. Ice-T's show was so long that by the time uh, Flash was all done, yeah. and he was away on the other side of the park, so it was like, or the other side of the fairground. Like, Great okay. fucking um, planning by the uh, <laughs> Big E. Like, like we're going to put them a half hour apart. Like, he yeah, was yeah. scheduled for 7.30 and Grandmaster Flash for 8. And I'm like, well, maybe it's going to be a quick show. Right. And I goes up there for a little bit. And he brought Melly Mel out. He did a mm. uh, push me. Cut. He did. That's like, whoa! Look at this song. Here. Still trying to look jazzy and shit. Yep. Roaches in the back room, and then he started doing some uh, just like crowd sing along participation. Mm. A bunch of random songs. You know, I think he did that thing. My Lord, no. <laughs> just had people just sing oh. along to random shit. You know what I mean, dude? That's another thing. At some point, people are going to have to listen. She's. I know this is not what you want the white guy to be saying. <laughs> yeah. Yes, musical genius at one point. Uh -oh. Yes, you know, completely <laughs> at one point. But at some point, someone is going to need to discuss her drug use. Because, like, look at any fucking show that she has done over the past, you know, 10 years that she's mm -hmm. actually showed up for. Like, something's really going on well, and a like, boogie a boogie up here yeah at some point someone is going to have well, to discuss i, th I thought, I thought it was just use. her falling back and i'm taking care of her kids man see what we do <laughs> black people we we make up some shit. <laughs> exactly it's that no no, no but i'm she, saying I, I, she's I just falling back and taking care of her kids and never showing up for shows and if she does she shows up for them four hours late and thinks right. there's nothing wrong with like it's just uh no dude and she just looks fucked Oh mm. man, like yeah. she's. I, I, but I think oof. it's one of those that I everybody. Seen recent pictures. And I used to love me some El Boogie, man. Yeah, those lips and shit. Everybody kind of like um, puts her on that pedestal and has never taken her off of it, mm. and so everyone kind of does the. Um, they look, you know, it's it's the fat Elvis thing. Like they look, the other, but but that's still Elvis, and he's still bringing in money, and he's still, you know, it's uh, Amy it's, Winehouse. I like, not, oh yeah, she's killing herself, but. Let's just get as much money as we can out before she kills herself. You know, right. it's nobody that really cares. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> when it comes to making a dollar, it's off fucking ass. taking Aretha Franklin's dead body on tour. <laughs> like, <laughs> dude, <laughs> got her all posed in a casket with a fucking fuck? glittery outfit. Yo, on. when you're doing outfit changes on the dead body, <laughs> there's a problem. Yeah, yeah. This, this, like, because people aren't thinking about okay, you know, the outfit change. No, you're taking a dead body <laughs> and putting new clothes on it like it ain't nothing no different than a goddamn circus at the uh, the big e that's <laughs> real what the fuck it was a big ass circus aretha had that weekend at bernie's going <laughs> on <laughs> pull strings for the wives and shit it's, look at that parade wave that she's doing right now <laughs> yeah. aretha let her rest nigga. like yeah every it, part of her <laughs> it was funny because it was so like the, her one of her biggest songs was respect and it was like Oh, cool. You died. Fuck you. No respect. Like, right. let's just take your dead body on tour. Like, oh, like, I understand why people did for the believable purposes of uh, of actually, you know, back in the days of actually viewing the body to make sure that you sure that person's dead. I don't believe you. you yeah. Know? Yeah. But no, we're so past that now. If the niggas say the niggas dead, <laughs> just, just throw my shit in the fire, man. You know what I mean? Yeah. I don't want nobody weeping on my body, man. That's a weird. I don't know. You know, I don't know. Exactly. I don't want nobody throwing themselves on the casket and knocking the shit over and fucking <laughs> making a whole spectacle out of it, you know? Oh, yeah, that's it. I, yeah, I already got a couple people in mind that might do that, so I don't mm -hmm. I don't want <laughs> If they're around and, when, I am, <laughs> when I'm gone and they're still around, I don't need that shit at my funeral. I'm telling you, and if you go before me, I'm going to be the one to do it, so. <laughs> <laughs> why, why, why? <laughs> I'm going to be trying to do a podcast and shit. I'm going to put the microphone in there. Set it up, set it up, set it up. You going to laugh? <laughs> Let me know. Set it up, put the mic in there. Put one little, last show. Nigga, all I want is one little baby watermelon, nigga. Just, if you can find some way to get a little baby watermelon. <laughs> right? Just put that in there, what I'm missing. One last that. show. Is that, wait, is that going to bring the bugs quicker to his body? All right, let me take that out then. <laughs> right? That, that's one of the reasons that I want to be cremated is because 
even though, yeah, you won't be able to feel it, you won't be able to anything, you're not going to be, quote, there, but, like, yeah, I just don't want my body to be eaten by fucking Decompose, bugs, man. Yeah, yeah, no. Like, see, I don't want what's left of me to become some housing unit for some motherfucking grubs, nigga. For real. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck is that about? Mm -mm. Let my shit burn the ashes, the ashes, dust, and dust, right? That's right? What they said. That's Isn't that what they say? The, Isn't that what they say? It's in the Bible, right? The Bible says, the Bible says... <laughs> yeah, man, I, I don't want. Ooh, I don't want any of that yeah. shit. Just burn me. Mm, mm. But there was a lot of a uh, lot of freaking people from all over out there. Uh, yeah, uh, Geico was doing something. We did a little. Uh, they get, you know, people get all free shit. Then you, you, you yeah, realize yeah. you sign up for something. That's probably what these fucking phone calls are <laughs> mysterious. I'm getting like, oh, oh, that's right. The Geico guy I gave my information to mm -hmm. now who gave me a bunch of free shit. But the plug is that we're gonna call you now. Yeah, <laughs> and you're gonna every... get emails and you're gonna get all that right. stuff. Yeah, but they had like the big state buildings. We didn't. We got a chance to go in. It's funny because we went in only two of them because we had to hurry up and get to um, try to get to the circus. Mm. But we missed that. But anyways, uh, we went to was it New Hampshire? Yeah, New Hampshire was the first one, and then. Go, and then, so let's go over here. And it was Connecticut. It was the next one. And it's funny because New Hampshire was very country and, you know, everything's like, oh, that's nice. Yep. <laughs> we fucking walk into Connecticut one. I said, this fucking looks like Connecticut. <laughs> Bunch of fucking, uh, 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 I don't know, it's like industrial slash country slash, you know. Hoods. Right. <laughs> it, it was a little bit of everything. It's like the lighting yeah. The lighting felt very, like, Connecticut. Like, I feel like, yeah. Mm-hmm. But. I'm sure it's the same in every state, but whenever anybody, like, on TV or a talk show talks about Connecticut, I'm like, no. Right, <laughs> just, just, right. No. They just go by numbers of, you know, people yeah, yeah. with money and Greenwich and like, well that that's the exactly. That's the difference. Like, okay, go to Greenwich, then drive to Bridgeport. See like the up and right. down can, of can, yeah, fucking can, Connecticut, you can know? You, can you feel it? Exactly. <laughs> can, can you, you feel it? it? Which one would you walk around late night? Right. <laughs> but it, no, it is. There's there's that whole perception of Connecticut, like, no, it's all Greenwich, it's all nice people and rich houses, and it's like Right. No. no, that's not. I know what that about. I know what that about. But we didn't get to go in the other houses. But they, you know, mm. I, I, like I said, I was mad young when I remember going, and I always thought I thought the houses were smaller. Yeah, I didn't, I was, I didn't know. I was like, they're fucking actually huge. But we also didn't go upstairs is where you get all the historical shit. Downstairs, all the stands and what they're known for is honey this and honey that. Honey yeah, that. yeah, a lot of local produce and right, stuff. Right, right. You know, which is cool. I, I, I'm really, I'm a fan of that. What I said, I, I did like the fact that people made a lot of shit on their own and went to sell it. Yep. You know, and that, I mean, what is it? I think it's 14 days or they break it down because it's only on weekends. It's, it's, you go there, right? Is it through the week you can go to? I'm not sure. Yeah. Well, no, yeah, yeah. It is during the week because it my is. mom went on a uh, Monday. A Monday. Okay. Yeah. So now you're talking about they got, I think, four weeks of this shit. You know what I mean? Mm. Three, four weeks of this uh, celebration. So if you're out there making money, man, you you know, you can, it's a good month. Yeah. Because I mean, yeah. this shit only comes once a year. And I was going to say, that might be people's. Bulk of their yearly income. Yeah, no, you know? it is. I, I seen uh, when I was, cause I was before we were gonna go. I said, let me do some research and see what kind of let me plan out my grubbage for the day. Nigga. Let me see what they got going on. And uh, grubbage is running this. One of the guys stands they had, and they were like, okay. He said, oh, then the guy, oh, this is great. He said, so what do you do in offices? We go, no, 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 no. This, this is it. Yeah, this is my season. The only time you get this is here. You know what I mean? So that makes it for some people. It's like, yo, it, it almost brings people out for shit like that too. Like, yeah. yo, I can only get this shit once a year. You know what I'm going to do. Right. <laughs> I'm coming up. I, I might come with people. I might not. But I'm coming up, nigga. I'm mm. getting my I'm goods. I'm coming up. <laughs> getting my Into goods. that big E. You know what I'm saying? But now it's a big place, man. Huge. And uh, Huge. It's not your average fair, folks. If you've seen a fair before, maybe they got big ones like this down in the country. They got a lot of room. But uh, might. this is our big one up here. So that was my big E. And I... Smoked weed pen going through that. <laughs> Doobie Biggie. Yeah, yeah no, it's a good time. I got to uh, check it out at some point in the next couple of years. Mm -hmm. So, um, But well, it did have kangaroo. I didn't try that. Whoa. Niggas had kangaroo. Kangaroo dick. Kangaroo, alligator, uh, bison, something else exotic. Bison's good. Bison yeah. burgers. I've I had those. Had they're real. They're they're not as tasty because they're really low fat, high protein, right? And fat is what gives a lot of the burgers a taste. Yep. So, they're kind of they got to be seasoned, you know? Yeah. Okay. Because yeah, when well, you look at a bison, bison so much more fucking yeah yeah muscular looking than a cow. Cows is like look at this. Somebody shoot me. They're gonna eat me. <laughs> That's what it is. And so I feel like he uh, he wants to say that. Let me make it right in my head before I fuck around coming this motherfucker vegan. 
<laughs> I, I doubt it. But that's, yeah, it's, a, it's a thought. <laughs> mm-hmm. I feel you. So, yeah, man, the Big E is definitely where it's at. Man, if you've been to the Big E, if you want to tell us about the Big E, yep. you know what it is. Hit us up on this hotline, 203-594-6977. Call or text. Now, listen, when you call, mm. somebody's not going to be there to pick mm-hmm. up the phone. What you're going to get is an answering machine. Boop. Leave your message. Let us know what's up. Let us know how you feel about it, and we will react to it, speak about it on the next episode. Mm. That's what it is. Now, things that we need to react to and speak about mm. is... Batman's dick. <laughs> <laughs> this is news to me. I I, uh-huh. I didn't notice. I, I thought it was a joke text that came through the line wire, but uh, this is a real thing. You got to break this down for me because I'm, I'm in the it. dark, nigga. I'm in the dark. In a recent, <laughs> the dark night. In a um, in a recent comic that came out, I guess they make different. Um, you know, I'm not deep into the comic world, but when right. news like this comes out, it, it's it's funny. Comic-Con guys go crazy. Yeah, yeah. And I guess that there's um, adult Batman comics. And I don't mean adult as in like porn-wise because it's not just, you know, Batman and Catwoman right. fucking out there. Right. But so, I guess they're more like adult-themed to where, yeah, yeah, there yeah, might be death. Killed, there are more, right. more cursing, more swears in it, more things like that. And in this one... Um, they had the panels where I guess Batman got back to the Batcave and, you know, disrobed. And then, you know, and yeah, you know, it's not a movie, it's a drawing that and then <laughs> turns around and you just, you know, the shadow of the dong is right there. <laughs> and it, it didn't seem like a necessary, you know? <laughs> but that's a creator's giggle. That's yeah, yeah. Look at that. made that nigga hung. <laughs> that's, the, that's that creative, uh, you know, creative license. And. For him, it's probably a good move because, yeah, you have a certain amount of people that are going to get this Batman comic. But once you hear, yo, Batman's dick is in this comic, <laughs> that shit is shining. Batman schlong is, is made an appearance in a comic. That's some shit. Now, that I wonder dying. if, if, if uh, the new Joker movie is coming out, if they're going to if they're gonna incorporate that with the Batman that's in this Joker movie. If there's even a Batman. Is this just more about the Joker one with Heath? I mean, not with Heath, but... Um, Jo- j- joking Jafar, joking, jo- <laughs> jo- Joaquin Phoenix. Joaquin, Joaquin um, Phoenix. I always say joking. God damn it. Yeah, I don't know. I haven't seen much about it. You know, like I just saw the trailer, but yep. yeah, I didn't read into. The only thing I do know about it, from what I've heard, is that um, it's supposed to be separate from all the other. Like they're saying, this isn't the connected to any p- other part of the universe. You okay. know, this is like. A standalone movie, and I think almost like Batman Begins, it's his origin story, how he became. Right. So I can see, see like maybe good, at the end of the movie, there right. might be like, maybe he'll like see Batman in like a frame or two. But I, I don't think that Batman's going to be a big part of it, if at all. If you know? at all, right, right. But that's good. I like to see a backdrop. I really don't know backdrop on Joker. So yeah, me, me too. Movie. Same you know here. I mean, I know like the the I did like the Batman, the first movie one that came out in the nineties or was the late eighties. Keaton? Uh, Keaton? Keaton, yeah, yeah, uh, with Jack Nicholson as Batman, yep. I mean, as Joker, and how they explained how he got that l- look in that one. I don't know mm. if that's like the original story, but at least that was the only one we got at some point. Yeah, right, there was, an, was there was an explanation at some point. Right, it's like, you get a nigga, get a little bit of an insight. Right. <laughs> no, that was a good man. I, I like the dark Batman, and even like the fun, bright Batman, the campy, um, what's his name? Oh, Jesus Christ. I did an R.I.P. song to him. The dude that played Batman on the TV show, Adam West. Adam West, yeah. Um, even the, like that, that was cool, but it's it's a different, you know, side. When he did his TV show, it's campy and it's bright and it, right. bang, bow, right. boom, boom, you know, that, that yeah. type of stuff. Holy shit, Pops. Uh, yeah, yeah zoinks shit, and yeah, shit right, like that. Yeah, right. That might be Scooby Doo, but still, um, <laughs> close enough. <laughs> exactly, same era, same genre. <laughs> but yeah, I, I enjoy the uh, dark part, and then it just kind of um, uh, Batman Begins was dope. The Dark Knight was cool, and then um, the Batman vs Superman was so trash. So yeah, trash. I heard a lot. Of, I I thought, it, and me on the other side, I thought it was a decent movie. Uh, I, besides the whole when they. Stop fighting, cause that you know you, you you feel like you know they're gonna stop fighting. How though? And then mm. you, you and then you see the why is he saying that? <laughs> it's his mother's name. Why is he saying that? It's his mother's name. I still I can't believe that. <laughs> Let's go on a low number. That movie cost a hundred million dollars to make. Mm. There were probably thousands of people involved in that movie, and I'm not saying that nobody ever brought it up and they got shot down. But I st- I can't believe that nobody was like. 
he's not going to kill. Batman isn't going to kill Superman because their moms have the same name. <laughs> That's what we're doing. That's what we're doing. Like now? no. Right. And then I mean, and you know, he maybe became human now. He's, maybe somebody like me was like, "Hey." said that sentence and then they were like oh hey yeah yeah you're fired maybe that's what happened i don't know <laughs> the guy that, but, that pointed it out in the room got yeah <laughs> but i can't believe that that made it to the movie theater right. and that's the reason why for, fucking the, for the script pitch i think whoever wrote that part of the script has a lot of clout <laughs> right <laughs> a lot of a lot of stripes in their badge because it's like nah i mean but he wrote it so, i mean let that shit be let that shit yeah be. it's like but because their mother's got the same name <laughs> I mean, they could have went on a, a further stretch than that, and like their mothers grew up together, or some shit. Their mothers knew each other, right. like like the Batman and Superman are fighting, and right. they they see like their moms shopping together or something. Right. Like that would have been better right. for me. Why did he say Eartha Williams? Why who's Eartha Williams? Eartha Williams is my mother's best friend. Yeah, <laughs> like oh, that's his mother. Oh. We we played together as kids, and then get this whole fucking story going of them actually being cool as kids. Right? What the fuck? Uh, yeah, I know, was, then, then you find out they used to hang out when they were younger. <laughs> right. Something, man. Right. Give me, that's give me a, something else. That's a little something I can at least still say bullshit, but it's still something. And it's better than he didn't kill him because our moms have the same. And, and it wasn't <laughs> even like didn't kill him and left him alone. Then it was just like our moms have the same name. Let's team up. Like, it was so fucking. <laughs> Let's go. <do> it. <laughs> That's what it is. It's like get a Batman symbol. I'll even split my signal in the air with yeah, you. Yeah, right. Half a S, or half a bat. <laughs> we'll make this happen, pals. It sounds like what the. Fuck? Why is Wonder Woman here? Who cares? Let's go. Because <laughs> she's hot, Diana. Right. Check that play there, man. I don't know her. Gal Gadot. Gal Gadot. Oh, Gal Gadot. <laughs> she's hot, yo. Yeah, she's definitely. Uh, definitely and I think there's another it. Wonder Woman coming out. If I'm not mistaken. I would assume so because I think the first one like did really, really, really well. You know. Mm. Yeah, I know it did. I was in there cheering with my daughter, like, <laughs> "Girl power, she's hot, baby." <laughs> Girl power for a different reason than you, babe. But, right. but stay strong, stay strong. Stay strong. You gonna be as strong as Wonder Woman, mm -hmm. and Daddy gonna go in this room right now and <laughs> turn on this uh, porn hub. <laughs> and search for Wonder Woman. Search for Wonder Woman. Somebody, somebody's role playing in the motherfucker. Well, I'm dude, sure. that was the thing, man. When you saw, um, obviously Gal Gadot did a good job, but some of the Instagram models that dressed up like Wonder Woman during that time was like, right. yeah, you could have done it too. Right. Holy you, shit! Too bad you probably had a shitty acting resume, but you could have been the one, right? <laughs> you could have been a stand-in at least, like just for the pictures. Oh, yeah, I did see that. Um, they were. Relaunching brand new uh, creator of uh, Child's Play, new Chucky. Whoa, new Chucky's coming out, and the guy who did Chucky's voice not gonna be in it. No, that was just like Freddie when they brought back Freddie. It's like, yeah. yo, dude could still do it. Yeah, Robert yeah. England, come on, man. They, that means there's some shitty shit that was going on money wise, or yep. he didn't like because the they had the. Uh, I didn't see the movie, but they had the guy that played uh, Rorschach in The Watchmen. He did it, okay. which was like. I but he seems. That from? I never seen the Watchmen. I, I oh, didn't like Watchmen that Freddy. Good. I didn't like that Freddy and that, that new Freddy they put. And they made him into like a weird pedophile. I mean, yeah, I, I, didn't I mean, see you assume Freddy probably was a pedophile, but in the movies, in the original movies, he wasn't really uh, capturing kids to do, you know, sexual misconduct. Yeah. He was taking them to torture them and killing them. You yeah, know what yeah, I mean, yeah. he'd like slice him up and then kill him. I mean, I'm not making this any better. What the fuck he did? I'm just <laughs> We're saying. We're not saying though. that he's good because he right. did. But yeah, there wasn't a sexual element to it. I right. don't think. No, and they they kind of really put it in this one. It's like he's working at a kid in the garden as a fucking gardener, and he's like stalking kids and sneaking them downstairs in the basement. Ooh. Yeah, it was a weird fucking storyline. I'm like, this is booty. What yeah, is this? Yeah, I didn't see that one. Yo, and shout out to Ice T saying the most appropriate, inappropriate fucking. Uh, he goes, y'all want an inappropriate adult joke? <laughs> and they're like, yeah. He said, you sure? And then he said something about uh, what's the difference between something and a pedophile? And he said something about about uh, always something for a little bottom or something. <laughs> and then people were like, I'm like, boo, Ice T. <laughs> boo. <laughs> boo, Ice T. But, but I respect the game. But like, damn, nigga, just was like, fuck this fair. Yep. I'm going to say a pedophile joke to you, nigga. That's amazing. <laughs> so Ice T said a pedophile joke. And I laughed as I said, boo. But it was like, <laughs> boo, nigga. Boo. I don't want to laugh at that, but I'm going to boo you for whipping that one out. That's amazing. But yeah, th so the Chucky one, I was saying, uh, the guy who 
created every single one and had his hand to do in every single one, they pushed him out. So uh, this is going to be a whole new thing, new voices, new, uh, I think even the He'll animation probably, of them all. I was going to say, I'm imagining that they'll update it like to right. new times. They'll probably have a Chucky will be on a cell phone on might, the fucking right. baby camera and, and they shit. might take away from the puppetry of it and do like the CGI shit. Mm. Like, yeah. You know how the Ninja Turtles did? Yep. Well, Michael Bay Blade, B- B- Bay Blade, whatever the fuck his name is, Blake. <laughs> yeah, that I'm imagining shit. that they'll probably do some shit like that. Yeah. But Rob Zombie finished shooting his uh, new movie, and he's editing it now, which has uh, got me hyped up. Nice. It's called uh, Three from Hell, maybe something like that. But he okay. went back to the original characters that he was fucking with in uh, House of a Thousand Corpses, and uh, I'm losing it right now. Mm. Devil's Rejects. Devil's Rejects. Oh, um, Devil's Rejects is dope. Did you see the one he did? I seen there was one. What the fuck was the name of it? And they were all like they they ran into like this weird place where it was like a game they did where they tortured people. What yeah, that thing? shit was weird. I, I forgot it was it was pretty dope though, man. Yeah, I forget what the movie was, like but I remember. Rich- yeah, they were all called like Doomhead and Deathhead. Right. The, the players, but um, it's like Running Man on steroids. If you remember, yeah. Running Man it was the darker fucking. Yeah, dude, a Running Man with a gun in hand. You know what I mean? <laughs> Shout out to Running Man. That was one of my favorite movies as a fucking youth, man. Just like get him, Arnold. <laughs> <laughs> get him, Arnie. <laughs> Sneak an Arnold running for his life. Uh, what, ah, fuck. What was that movie called? Was it? Why am I thinking thirty-one something? It was. It was a number involved. Maybe it was just thirty-one. It might have been. I think it was just a number, thirty-one or twenty-one or some shit like yeah. that. But that movie was kind of fucking bugged out. Yeah, I like Rob Zombie's movies, man. He makes some. He makes stuff that makes you uncomfortable, and that's I enjoy that. You know, right? It's like like the, the no one should be comfortable with that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> no one should feel like he's he's, he's broke that boundary of that wall. And the thing that he makes, um, especially House of a Thousand Corpses and Devil's Rejects, always like the crazy redneck characters, are, I think, are universally just fucking scary to everybody. Right. You know what I mean? He did. Uh, he did. Uh, he did one of Halloween's, right? He did two of them. He did two. Yeah, of them. yeah, yeah. Now the only only thing I didn't like, I was like, damn, Rob, you could have. You know what I mean? Did we fade the black on that one? When the dude, when they was when the dude was raping the girl at the the insane asylum, but the rape scene was like a little bit extended, long, like. We got to watch this dude rape this chick? Yeah, yeah, like, like a little on, bit bro. longer cut. Yeah, it's like, come come on, man. Come on, man. Cut that out. Mm-hmm. But that's that whole uncomfortable shit you're talking about. Like, yeah. nobody's doing like Nobody's like, nobody wants to see that shit. So if, when you got yeah. a long, your extended scene, like, okay, already. We know what he's doing. <laughs> yeah, we see yeah. And it's like, God, man. But he kind of like makes you sit in it. Of right, this, like, right. It makes, no, you're going to you're gonna sit here and you're going to see like, this shit is real. And this mm-hmm. is the shit that people go through. And it's like, what the fuck? You know, then I'm watching it, you know, watch with a loved one or somebody you know that that, that happened to, and then they're all like, all right, fuck Rob, turn it off. <laughs> <laughs> I'm with some damaged people here, man. Get me right. fucking putting that shit up there like that, man. <laughs> you know, but uh, no, nah, I look forward to that. But so back to Batman's dick, though. I mean, mm. you will never hear anyone ever say that in life. Yep. Maybe. That's back, the first time that's back, been said. <laughs> maybe the last. I don't know. Back to Batman's dick. So did they give the go to leave it there? They're just going to like, I mean, they already printed out the copies and shit, right? Yeah, yeah. It's in a certain comic, like, because, I, like I said, I guess that there's a adult division. And, like I right. said, I don't mean a porn division, but a, like, more uh, right. mature Violent, division right. where that might, you know, King. have a dong in it. So, <laughs> I believe that there's uh, an edition, you know, where it's just, like, a shadow right. where you don't see his dick. And then, um... Now, yeah. did, did they give him a baby bulge? <laughs> if you know, two or three. Five, five nine, nine, four, five. six, nine, seven, seven. Let us know how you feel about Batman's <laughs> dick. It's called Batty's Bulge. Let us know about the Batty's Bulge. Oh, the Bat Bulge. The Bat Bulge. Let us know about the Bat Bulge. If you, how would you rate it? Would, it, would you think it's about a four or five or a nine right. tenner? I don't. Give us a thumbs up or a thumbs down on Batman's <laughs> dick when you Google it. So all you got to do is Google Batman's dick, and I'm sure there's a picture of it that'll pop up. Oh, man. Man, it's probably, he probably wears like the little fucking bat speedos and shit. What the fuck is bat thong? On? Bat thong is going with wings on. out the back. <laughs> wings out the back. Battery operated. They fucking flap. <laughs> now speaking of uh, not being able to see things or not being able to touch things, this is a horrible transition. Talk to him. But speaking of horrible, rhymes with Oriole. <laughs> um, Oriole. <laughs> that was a good. The one. Was a good Baltimore stretch. Orioles. <laughs> decided to do some you know how people do that smart dumb shit you know how somebody smokes a blunt and then it's like first of all everybody loves talking when they're inhaled because i mean you could just blow <laughs> the like, fucking smoke out and then talk but why not but she goes i can't you know what i'm saying i was about to <laughs> no nah. so what we're gonna do is <laughs> oh, the man. baltimore orioles 
we going to put Braille on the uniforms <laughs> for the blind that watch the game. <laughs> so the Orioles came out this year, um, you know, and it's not for the entire, you know, season, mm. but they Alternate they got some Braille uniforms. Right. And if you don't know what Braille is, by chance, let me break it down real quick. Say if you go to McDonald's, you go to any other restaurant, or even if you go to a public bathroom, underneath you'll see a couple of dots. Blind people can read that by touching it. There's there's, there's an alphabet that they put on, and, you know, one dot is A, two dots is B, whatever it is. Right. They're in certain shapes, and, you know, they run their finger over it, and that's how they they can, you know, read slash see. Raised bumps to read. And, Yo, uh, race bumps to read. So I guess they used they used the design of a braille without it being braille on the uh, on the shirt. Yep. So therefore, it's still fucked up because if somebody for braille can't feel it because I don't even think it was three D pop out. I think it was just a no, flat, just normal look of what a braille. And that that was somebody in the design team, I'm sure. Yeah, yeah. What if we made the Houston Astros in braille? And it was one <laughs> of those like I guess. Okay, cool. You're bringing awareness. But it's just the way you go. Like, you did a Braille uniform. First off, blind people, last time I checked, can't see. <laughs> so they're not going to be able to see the Braille uniform. Right. Then that, they're <laughs> never going to be close enough to ever touch the Braille uniform, even though it's not working Braille. Right. So it's just kind of like there's a bunch of dots on the uniforms and nobody knows what anybody's nobody's name like, is. On a, it's just That kind of looks like the uh, Cubbies, but no. <laughs> yeah, I don't remember that. Or it's got to be a team that has the uh, the words on the front. Like I said, I think that one was the Astros that did that. Who was it? Was it Astros San Diego? One what they do with the team that had it? Was it all around the league, or was it just one? I did, the Orioles were the ones Orioles. that I, oh, that yeah, I saw. With it, he just but... said Orioles. I was trying to figure. Out, I forgot. So, so Orioles <laughs> in Baltimore uh, are, are trying to heighten your awareness for blinds, which uh, I guess you know is good, but also you just went about it a weird way. You know, right? I mean, it's a good cause, but it's like those. I guess those shirts are selling to those people who support. Yeah, that's uh, I, you know, he's like, look, t- run your hands across my shirt, Tommy. Let me show you how much I care about you. Yo, run your hands across my chest, boo. <laughs> Try to read my love for you. Listen, man. Uh, I think uh, there's gonna be all kinds of alternative jerseys that go on. People have. You know, like the Miami Dolphins might do some like free the Dolphins fucking logos going right. on. You know what I mean? You I'm know. surprised they haven't been attacked yet. Right. Or for the like, Dolphins. Right. Or get, yeah. Well, the Redskins still have not lose. They have not lost ground. Yeah. There's been so many calls for that to go. But you know what? I think so. And listen, I'm not part Indian, so I don't know if it's. Um, I might be <laughs> offensive as you know people say, uh, because I understand that that word could be offensive, but it seems right. to. Like, you see some Indians, American Indians, uh, protesting, and then I think there's a huge amount of people that are just like, I don't give a shit about that stuff. It's not like, right. I don't it, know. It's, it's like, you, you can't compare, well, if you're going to call black people the N-word. <laughs> so you, you can't compare that because, uh, first of all, uh, natives were damn near mass genocide. I mean, yeah. None of them left to really talk about the shit. <laughs> right. <laughs> you know what I mean? And uh, not to be like, and it's so long away. That's why I always say, people, mm-hmm. distance separates the bitterness. Uh, Hello. <laughs> name of the episode. <laughs> so the further away the shit becomes, folks, the less niggas are angry. <laughs> yeah. And, you know, the 60s is right there, you know. We the motherfuckers are still walking around like I remember that shit. Goddamn white man trying <laughs> to fuck me up every time. It's like shit, shit was fucked up. Niggas didn't have yep. rights. That's still you gotta go into 2260. <laughs> and tell me how people still like you remember yeah. back in 1960, 200 years ago? Niggas ain't gonna say that shit, man. It's just the uh, you know, the PC police are coming in strong. Like, I'll never forget when the fucking there used to be a basketball team that is now the Wizards. Right. They were called the Bullets. Right. And that was changed because of a, you know, the right. violent connotation with right. bullets. Right, but we have a second amendment, but whatever. You know <laughs> Niggas got guns, you just can't talk about them. <laughs> Listen, no bullets, but Rockets? No problem. <laughs> Rockets are there. <laughs> this is true, man. Listen, now, if I shoot a bullet at your house, you might be ducking. You might be somewhere else. It might not hit you. If I shoot a rocket at your house... <laughs> <laughs> well, no, this is like a smooth rocket that goes yeah. out of space. Yeah, yeah I know. That, that's how they'll, they'll play it off, right? Right. We could change the name to the Houston Space Rockets. Exactly. <laughs> that makes it cooler, you know? We just be the Houston astronauts. That's, yeah. that's it. <laughs> that's what we're going to do. We're going to run with that. 
I mean, it, it, you know, there's some always some weird names people put out there. I'm still trying to figure out what the fuck a metropolitan is. Maybe yeah. it's just somebody who lives in a city, I guess. I uh, guess. <laughs> I'm city a metro- folk. And nobody, I've never heard anybody reco- refer themselves as a metropolitan. I'm, I'm a metropolitan. No. <laughs> yeah, I've never heard about it. <laughs> See, I don't know what you niggas is talking about. I think that's the area you live in, right? The right? metropolitan area. Yeah, yeah, the <laughs> metropolitan. Urban versus rural. Right, rural. It's all about the rural. Everybody know about the rural. It's a rural um, life. Back to, see, man, I did. I missed the transition. I missed the correct transition. Oh, oh if so. you got a team name that you want switch, hit us up, 203-594-6977. Right. Um, I, I, I had a better transition that I should have went with before with mm. the um, Freddy and the pedophile thing. Mm, and the, why the fuck is Drake, <laughs> 31 years old, mm. texting, hanging out with, Going to dinner, texting I miss you. No, I miss you more with 14-year-old Millie Bobby Brown. And if you don't know who that is, that's Whoa. the girl from Stranger Things. Okay. That's the bald girl from Stranger Things. Oh, okay. 11. 11. Oh, wow. But she's 14. Right. Um, she's from, like, England or some shit, too, right? What the fuck? She's from somewhere with an accent. Yes, right. correct. <laughs> and, over there, and, and, and to us dumb Americans, that's just England because we don't know shit. <laughs> I can't got time. I got time to know if you're from Wales, nigga. Uh-uh. You from you from England, nigga? Exactly. <laughs> what the fuck would that hit? The that? fuck is wow. going on? Drizzy, is that the Kiki? What's her initials? Is her initials in the song? Right. Is her initials in the song? What the? No, because I guess it came out on a red carpet. She actually like blew the spot up with um. You know, not admitting to any sexual things or whatever, but like they were asking her questions on the red carpet and about boys and stuff and who helps you out. And she's like, and actually, you know, uh, I met Drake and like I fanboyed out over him and he fangirled out over me and all this other stuff. And then, uh, you know, we started texting and then that night we went to dinner and then we kept going to dinner and, you know, he just helps me like he texts me about. Uh, if I have questions about boys, he'll text me back and he'll give me, you know, real information. Where the fuck and is her father figure? Why is Drizzy? Exactly. And why does he have to feel like, I have to help this girl? Drake might come out. He, some shit might come out on him. You know where it's going to be wild is in four years when she turns 18 and he fucks her. That's going to be the one that's going to be, or like in two years when he turn, when she turns 16 and like he takes her to one of the states where you got to be 16 right. to fuck her. Because wow. like, We're that, about that's playing a long haul, like oh, the I'm, I'm long playing. ball. I mean, I am, I am planting this seed. I'm germinating. Nigga. I'm going to get this. Because that's what that. uh, one article I read that's that crazy. made a lot of sense to me. They said that um, it's called grooming. And ah, like, and niggas yeah, that are into that shit do that shit. He's yeah. nice now and all that other stuff. And then, man, as soon as she turns of age, he's going to fucking... He's, he's going to make his move. Yeah, and that Whoa. shit is fucking disgusting. Yeah, niggas out there like that, hanging around high schools and shit, yeah. man. Trying to be friends with uh, their boys' his fucking younger sisters. Oh, yo, your sister cool, man. Leave her alone, man. Hey, Becky, you good? You need anything? You need to ride to school? Oh, Joey, you were always nice to you. You were my brother's favorite, my brother's favorite friend I had. You know what yep. I mean? And they look like that. But... Subconsciously, he was playing that that whole yeah, way. Yeah. I'm gonna keep doing this because, as it's been known, come on, women, you can jump in here and uh, attest to this shit. When you're at that age, it is very flattering for the older nigga to be throwing his fucking niceness yep. all around your fucking aura because at that point you're feeling yourself. And you know, the he's younger, so nice, right? And the younger and the younger females, the ones most of my talk to, admit that they usually always like the older guys. Yeah, you know what I mean, and. It's, they're different, and now it's like they feel more mature. Like the older guy likes me, not mm-hmm. you, you young ones my age don't know shit. But this older nigga, yep. he know he like me. See, he exactly. knows it's special, and maybe one we'll, we'll day run away. No, and that's the thing that this girl Millie Bobby Brown she put out a whole statement about like you know and stop shitting on Drake and I was, she didn't swear, but like right. and stop uh, shitting on Drake and ben judging this right. and blah 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 and like he's doing nothing wrong. He's just being a good friend. And he's just but listen. If you took away the famous shit, if you just took away, you know, mm-hmm. and just said, this is Aubrey and this is Millie from down the street, and you said this 31-year-old is friends and hangs out with this 14-year-old, never it'd happen. never be okay. Never. It would no. never be okay. So, Dad, where, where you going, honey? Well, I'm going to go up to Aubrey's house. Oh, the 32-year-old guy? Yeah, he's teaching me lessons today. I think Daddy's going to come with you. Exactly. With this pistol. <laughs> no, man, because it, it was even like you could tell, I'm sure, that Drake was just like, oh, she's not supposed to say that because... 
because she was on the red carpet talking about, and yeah, I hadn't seen him in a while. So, you know, I texted him, I miss you. And he texted me back, I miss you more. And I was like, yo, yeah. that's not friendship texting. But Drake's like, what is the problem here? I'm just like, she's a good friend. I yeah. can't have a 14 year old friend that she's a very intelligent. She's well beyond her years. And then you'll hear him start fluffing her up like, oh, nigga, you really is playing. Uh -huh. You start talking about how much you, you think she's cool and great. And it's like you want her to be kiki, nigga. And I then, know you know, he's going to come out with a song called Talking Till She's Older. <laughs> we was just talking. We was just talking. <laughs> But wait till she's older. Cause we was just talking. Her, and I told her, <laughs> when you're older, when you're older. <laughs> I'm telling you, bro, that shit's gonna come out and everyone's gonna be like, no, he's not even, that's not even about that, yo. No, he was talking about a girl he knew who maturity level wasn't old <laughs> enough. So now her, she's older in, in thought. Mentally like, older, you yeah. know what I'm saying? No, nigga, that nigga's no. a pedophile. Y'all thought, till you thought older. Michael Jackson was bad? See, Mike seemed like the obvious nigga. This nigga Drake's a snake in the grass. Yep. And it's all about to come out. Drizzy. See them yellow niggas? You can't trust them. Can't trust them. <laughs> Unless you Malcolm and Rosa. We can't trust you niggas. <laughs> and that's the weird shit, too, where it's like, I think that shit is just, if it's in you, it's in you. Because Drake can damn sure, and I'm sure already has, fuck a good amount of women. You know what I mean? Absolutely. A good amount of um anybody call, anybody calling his fandom window man it's just like hey, yeah <laughs> you want to fuck drake absolutely <laughs> and you know a female be like well if i'm gonna fuck just some nigga in the club i might as well fuck drake and be exactly. like i got some i got some expensive dick tonight <laughs> for real and those are the girls that'll try to like take the condom out of the fucking uh right trash bin and try to empty it back into their pussy right you know? for, I, I hope there's a lot of smart rappers out there that when they get it in uh nigga put your own condom on Right, because <laughs> oh, go ahead, baby, you put it on. Okay, poke, poke, poke. <laughs> oh, let me give you this one. Oh, just go ahead. I got pregnant. Accidents happen. Exactly. Niggas got paid now. You know, it's 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 a thing. Right, it's definitely a Yo, thing. Well, I seen the thing where there was a um. Every time I come around, you say the thing, thing. There was a was it was a superhead they were talking to. Maybe it was superhead they were interviewing her. Oh no, it was a blonde, and I guess she got around and fuck mad people. Uh, industry and then yeah, she was yeah. kind of like saying that well you know at least i'm you know choosing people of that stature that i'm gonna sleep if i'm gonna do what i'm doing and you're gonna judge me anyways i might as well do that that way like that's kind of honest okay yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> so then they were asking it's funny questions. how people make it okay in their head though right. but yeah. this is like okay i mean in your head it's cool and and that's the thing too like i've talked to before that do the whole um you know women that do the whole well, man could run around and say, and, and he's the man, which is, it's, it's a true thing. You mm -hmm. know, it's the image of it. We go around and we slam everything. We, we get known as, from our counterparts, the man. Player, being player. The man. Right. Men to men see another man as, oh, you, oh, you get this thing getting ass. I'm trying to be like him. You know yep. what I mean? Like, you know, especially in your youth and you're coming up. Women they don't see that like, oh, girl, you out there getting dick. Go ahead. Look yep. at you slinging that box. Oh, girl, you, I'm trying to fuck as many people you fucking. Mm -hmm. You know, they see it as like, nah, you can't be doing that. Yeah. And being a father of a daughter, I agree with them. <laughs> exactly. Uh, wise men say a key that opens many locks is powerful, mm. but a lock that get opened by any key <laughs> is useless. <laughs> you know what I mean? That shit is useless. Okay, Confucius says. Exactly. <laughs> Look, I, I don't knock anybody that makes the decisions they make in life. I understand mm. that there's people that out there are youth, Young ages, they can be damaged by certain things, mm -hmm. whatever you want to call it, fucked up housing, and they yeah, look yeah. for love wherever the fuck they can get it, and they sleep around, you know? Mm -hmm. uh, but as long as you know you can accept it as like, you know, that probably wasn't the best thing to do. <laughs> yeah, but, but see, now today, where we run into this weird thing of people say... Um, the, the phrase slut shaming has come out. Yes, when, like, I heard this. They talked about that too. It's not good to be a slut. It's crazy. Right. Like, it would be like if somebody came out and was like, oh, you guys are just thief shaming because I'm stealing. <laughs> You're not supposed to be stealing. Right. And, 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 and I always say, to, to test to that, when people say the whole, well, if guys fucking around. I said, just because he's running around, he's fucking everybody, you're still going to call him a hoe. A motherfucker, a nigga gonna call him over. That nigga a ho, son. That yeah. get it in. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, he, he, he's throwing dick around like crazy. And it might be commendable. And too, there's, there's also the some of those where, like, if, the, if there's a dude who's getting with a bunch of attractive women and in high where he's like, yo, man, he's doing his thing. Holy shit, good for him. But there, then there's also where it's like, yo, he'll fuck 
anything. Like, <laughs> right. You know that dude's got a disease. Blah right, blah. Right. Like not Careful. all of them are fucking lifted up and exalted and carried on a. You know, it's like right. oh shit, dude, you're killing it. No, right, there's right. definitely ones that are like. I'm oh, tagging the ones you're nobody doing else too is much. The one nobody else wants, I'm I'm getting them. Yeah, <laughs> this like he's hanging around like the ones that are like, uh, you know probably really out of shape or something and just yep. like don't have the look really fucking you know self you know conscious. Or confident, There's some or, dudes know. that will just take anything. You know what I mean? And right. and uh, just to uh, pat it up, you know, all women are beautiful. Everyone deserves love. All that oh, other so. shit. But like, there's <laughs> definitely dudes that, yeah, they'll just be like, yo, I'm going to just try to find the easiest re- easiest path to resistance. Right, you know right, I mean? right. Path and, of least resistance and, and just and go ex- for it. And it. It exists out there. And, yeah. uh, and even when um, do the pay to play, uh, I, can, I can understand it to the point of where somebody's like, you know what? I don't want a relationship. I don't pay and get this pussy. You're going to go ahead. I'm going to get this nut off. You're going to go about your business. We're right? going to keep it real. They need to make that shit legal eventually, bro. Because, <laughs> like, I'm cool to just, like, I've, I've never done it before, mm-hmm. but I could definitely imagine, like, if it's a clean environment, just being like, Yo, I want my dick sucked. Yeah, I'm going to go pay 40 bucks, cool, <laughs> end it, and I'm going to go home. You know what I mean? Maybe right. I don't want to do dinner and, right. and all that other shit. Like, maybe I, maybe I just want my dick sucked and to go home. Maybe, maybe maybe that's the title of this episode. Maybe I just want my dick sucked, you know? And because, like, for, for males, a lot of it is we do separate it from love in certain situations. Right. And I'm not talking about cheating on people. I'm not talking mm-hmm. about like, no, nah, boo, I'm just cheating on you because I just wanted to... N-. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about right. in like terms of, yeah, if I just wanted a blowjob and like could do it legally and all that else, yeah, man, just knock out 40 bucks. Cool, right. just do it and be done. And, and like, like, I wouldn't be like, yeah. oh, remember her? Like it right. just wouldn't be a... <laughs> and it's that thing too where it's like when a guy can understand when a dude... Say, it, 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 but ladies, by all means, the ladies that are listening, it is a big ass cop out. It's a bullshit yeah. cop out when a nigga's like, "Oh, I don't love her though." But I, but to a nigga like that shit makes sense. It's true, you know what I mean? It's like that mm-hmm. separation of like, uh, "No, I'm just getting a nut off." Yeah. I, I would never fucking leave my woman for that bitch. You know when no. people think like that, you know what I mean? But I always think like when you go down that path, man, you're, you're already there. You know what I mean? If you're gonna tap into that water, if you're if you're saying you're in a committed thing, and you want to fuck around. You know, then that's uh, yeah. Just break it off, right? Why even fuck around? You know what right? I mean? Just, just do what you do, man. You know. And, and I that... think it was Earl Simmons that said, "I gave <laughs> you what you gave me, boo, a nut." <laughs> <laughs> so I, I guess to some women out there, if you know, if you're safe and you just want to fuck people, mm-hmm. I guess that's what you want to do. But and that's the other thing too, where because now a lot of people want to do it all and then but just but never be criticized and can't stand up to it. Right. To where it's like, listen, if you're this quote bad bitch who fucking fucks when she wants to and all that other stuff but can't handle when someone goes Ugh, that's your body count right maybe maybe you're not that fucking secure with it and maybe you're right. not that happy about right it, you know? you're really ashamed of it but now nah, but now you want to get defensive about it exactly but it's no it's like nah listen i, I respect somebody but like listen you, you know if a girl that you know i i got around because most of the time women are gonna lie about that shit yeah, you know yeah. what i mean so if a woman comes up to you and keeps it real like yo listen i got around that to me, that's a real ass fucking thing to do. Cause like, mm-hmm. like women don't do that shit. It's like, no. you know, that whole thing was like, how many guys left with five? And we go times three, all right, yeah, yeah, 15, yeah. 20. <laughs> I stick with the rule of like, I don't want to know right. <laughs> ever. Like I, I don't, cause even like I've had it with pretty much every girlfriend I've ever had. We've just been like, you get to that point in the conversation or get to that point in the relationship. And I'm just like, yeah, I don't care. And I don't want to know. And I don't care. And I don't want to know. Don't tell me. <laughs> it's a bad thing to know, man. Yeah, yeah. I've been there. I know it, it's a bad Cause thing. you just do math in your head. And that's right. It, you know and then I mean? you start fucking thinking stupid shit. And then you could really have a gem on your hands and you're thinking some dumb shit. Yep. Like I got a gem. Oh, I think it's stupid. But listen, <laughs> all we're saying is stay away from every single girl that goes, you know, I just have all guy friends. Cause it's less drama. <laughs> Oh God! Picture an entire away. pack of hot dogs. <laughs> Put the entire pack away. of hot dogs in your hand. Funk. I get like, along better with guys than girls. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I know about this line. I know about these things. Yeah. Uh, I can. I, I and I, I would say it, it's like I, yes, it's true. I get along with females more than I get along with guys. You know, mm-hmm. I mean, like it's that opposite. It's that. A guy's not gonna, attracting you. know. Right, a guy's not gonna be his guy mode around you. He's yeah. changing kind of that flow. Exactly. You know what I mean, uh, unless, and that's why women like to hang around with gay guys because mm-hmm. they're fucking 
just their flow is that flow. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I mean? Flamboyant type shit. And they're like, yep. oh, he just say whatever. Oh, my God. That's because the guy who's not saying whatever is probably the guy that's probably trying to get in your pants. Yeah, you know creeping what I mean? on you. So he's not going to say whatever because now you might hit the unlike button on his shit. You, right. know? you know what I mean? So, you know, and it's like, why do I? Because... I can talk, you know, a different smoothness with the women than I will, you know, it's always a goddamn competition with the fellas. Like, mm-hmm. niggas, you don't understand, niggas, we always competing with each other, you know what I mean? Yeah. So your guard is down when it's the opposite sex. And it's the same shit with women. So, of course, that to me, that's a stupid, stupid statement. Like, well, it's, you know, I, I just get along with them more. And it's, like, and it's like, to me, it's like elementary. Of course you do. And there's a reason yep. why. Opposite track. The longer you hang out with that person, the more you click and, and bind with him in my head. Uh, eventually something's gonna happen. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? You're build you build to a point with somebody sometimes where you're either gonna like fuck up or you're gonna be like, I can't be fucking friends with you no more. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? So it's it's basically up to you to make that choice, people. Make those choices out there. Yo, and let us know about that choice you know what at I mean? 203 594 6977. Hit up the hotline, man. That's call or text. We know that people don't like to speak anymore. So just hit us up on the phone, man. 203 594 6977. Let us know what's going on. Let us know mm. your opinions. Here we are at the end of episode. Yeah. 39 and we appreciate you guys for joining us we appreciate everybody that's listening like we said man please keep sharing this please keep um hitting that like button hit that share button uh if you're listening on itunes or apple podcast whatever if there's a spot to write a review please do that man that'll get us in a better better chart position because uh as i said at the beginning man this is the best month that we've ever done so uh we appreciate the growth yeah wolf no september Mm -hmm. life and i'm young pushy why you ng pace trees little mattress Mm l-i-l-m-a-t-t-r-e-s-s at the end of the day it's always that beginning of the night you see the moon and all you niggas are sweet on the inside. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> true, true, true. Sweet like uh, fried dough with the Big E. You are. <laughs> Try that fried Kool-Aid, cuz. Mm-hmm. Don't fuck with me. No doubt. Until next week, uh, we are out. Catch us next week for episode 40. Put that 40 on them. Wham! Batman dick reference. <laughs>